is stress a handicap that might counterperform consciousness? Is stress a state of diminished consciousness? That's a depiction of stress right there. Yeah. Too much to do. Too little time. Um, and it just keeps going around and around in a circle of that. Like every time you think you finish and you're done, there's more to do, and then you're done, and then there's more to do, and then you're done. And so it's just this continuous cycle of more to do and never finished. But sometimes you go on holiday and you're just like, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think stress is just an emotion that you experience consciously. You can also experience it unconsciously, and it can have an effect on your behavior. It's an emotion that's being suppressed sometimes, and coming out in other ways. People say that these things reduce stress by sort of squeezing them. I never got that. I just don't, I don't get that. A lot of people fiddle a lot to try to kind of, psychoanalytic people would say that it's like outlets for your, the energy, the stressful energy to come out in other ways, like in behavioral movements. Some people have addictions. Some people just have little, you know, when they shake their leg, the energy is coming out in different ways. Early life stressors can affect brain development and perhaps can predispose people to certain psychiatric illnesses. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. Which can affect consciousness. And who says being a neuroscientist is difficult? <laughs>